Welcome to another edition of Zyron Inspiration in Motion. I'm Beth Kingston and with me today is Jessica Barnett and Jessica is going to show us how to make a darling decorative lampshade for any room in your home. Welcome. Thank you. Show us what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start off, you'll want to choose some ribbons okay. and we'll take our ribbons and go ahead and run them through the Zyron 250. Yes, let's run them through the machine. This is the two and a half inch sticker maker and the way this works is you stick the item you're going to be using. It takes anything up to the thickness of a nickel. Um, today we're going to be using ribbon. You put it into the feed tray and then you roll the knob away from you, except towards me because I'm doing it backwards. We're going to roll it right through the machine and this is going to make it adhesive on the back. Roll it all the way through till you get to the end and there's some little te plastic teeth on the back and you know that's when you reach the end of your ribbon. And then we're going to give that a tear and you can run your ribbon if you have small pieces you can run two at a time you can also use the five inch or the nine inch if you want to do a whole bunch of ribbon at one time and just kind of feed it all through together we've already free done some because we're such <laughs> smart girls and this is what we're going to put on our lampshade today yep and i'm going to show you how to make this lampshade right okay. here so i started in the back on the seam so it helped me to oh, line good. everything smart. up straight so i'll take our ribbon that we just ran through okay. peel it off of there I also love that you can choose different widths of ribbon or decorative ones, little gingham. I mean, it's perfect for a child's room, dining room, office. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, and I just randomly chose the ribbons. I didn't put any specific pattern, but if it's easier for you to do it that way, right. you can certainly choose a specific pattern to follow. And when you're working with different size lampshades, obviously this is smaller at the top and larger at the bottom. If you were working with a barrel lampshade, you could also go around mm -hmm. and around. Yes. And have a little bit more modern look to it. And in addition to finding the ribbon anywhere, you can also really use any lampshade. This one that has the rivets in it, it doesn't matter because when you cover it, cover it up, it's going to look fantastic. I mean, not people do love the lime green lampshades, but you can use this again in any room because you can cover it with whatever. Yeah, and when the light shines through it, you'll notice a pattern anyway with the dots. Oh, now that's, that's really clever cute. too. Very good. And so the more you put this on, obviously when it's shor shorter on the top, larger on the bottom, mm -hmm. it's going to go diagonally around the yeah. lampshade. We're getting to the point now where we're starting to have these at an angle. And I love the look of that because this one that you've done all the way around, mm -hmm. I love the way that it goes diagonally across. It just adds more texture and mm -hmm. And fantastic. when you get to that point where they start to overlap, I did one side and then the other so it has more of a woven look. Otherwise oh, one whole that. side would lay over the other side. Right. So Oh, so clever. You're such a clever girl. <laughs> Well, we're going to stay here and decorate lamps all day. Um, thanks for joining us for Zyron's Inspiration in Motion, and we'll see you next time.